Hello, how are you? Welcome back. You know, before I started this session, I, I, I told myself I have to find some other way of, you know, welcoming you back. I keep saying for the last eight or nine videos, I keep saying, welcome, hi, how are you? You're probably bored of that by now. So I'm going to work on that and maybe by the next session, I'm going to have a better way to, you know, welcome you back. All right, for now, you have this um, visual up on your screen and you're probably wondering what is happening here. What is actually happening here is you probably heard this phrase which says cash is king right cash is everything show me the money where is the money cash is king so this is you know you know supposed to dep depict that and I hopefully it does a crown on top of a bunch of Gandhi notes uh, 500 rupee notes here so essentially you know a business consumes money a business in many ways exists to make money make cash without cash there's no business all your asset sheets and your balance sheets and your operating income and expenditure all that revolves around cash which is why cash is you know people say cash is king and the king gets uh, you know his own and statement sheet called the cash flow statement which is going to be the focus of our session today now over the previous sessions you have looked at what the income statement is and how the income statement explains the operations of a company you've looked at what a balance sheet is and how a balance sheet uh, explains the financial uh, aspects of a company the non-operational financial assets and liabilities of a company and uh, what the cash flow essentially does it's kind of somehow kind of sits in between the balance sheet and the income statement and some of connects both these things and I'll, and I'll explain to you how um, that whole thing happens okay so you know when you're when you're a small company let me go to our small simple income statement all right our sing simple income statement right so when you're a small company just two people running the company you're running around making a few pizzas and delivering it you know you pretty much can get by with this thing a very simple income sheet you can get by with it now as and when you add uh, you become big you're scaling you're adding more centers your revenue is growing up you're hiring more people you might have to start having uh, this one where's our balance sheet you, you'll have to start having a simple balance sheet because when you start scaling you're going to have cash in the bank you're probably going to invest some money in the stock market you're probably going to take some uh, loans and all of that so as your company goes up you're going to see the need of having a balance sheet as well not that you should not have a balance sheet from day one but i'm saying the initial days you can get by with just having a basic income sheet. then you'll feel the need to have a balance sheet like this and you know, once you have this income sheet and balance sheet, you'll realize, uh, you know, after a few years of running your company, you probably have to become a public company or you're going to raise professional investors' money. Then you're going to feel the need to have a cash flow statement. Again, it's great practice to have a cash flow statement from the day one of your company, but it's not going to break your bank if you don't have it. Uh, but you will realize the need for it as you, uh, you know, build the business up uh, slowly. So, uh, yeah, so that, that is uh, kind of the uh, importance of a cash flow statement. It essentially tells you what happened to my money. It essentially tells you what happened to my cash, like how did I spend my money. That's what a cash flow statement at a very fundamental level, that's what it tells you. And uh, what we are going to do to understand this very better, uh, much better, sorry, we are going to look, take the Domino's uh, uh, cash balances and we're going to see what work does a cash flow statement do in that entire uh, you know larger scheme of things all right so I said um, a cash flow statement basically tells you what happened to you to my money which basically means let's say at one point of time your starting cash balance was whatever there was a, there was a starting cash balance and then there was the ending cash balance okay you started with this this amount of money you ended with this amount of money in between all this let me write that down right what happened to my money okay what happened to my money that is a cash flow statement all right what happened to my uh, money in between uh, all this a cash flow statement is going to tell you that so let us um, 
go to the the starting cash balance where are you going to find the cash balance for a company obviously the balance sheet you go to the dominoes balance sheet you go to the the statement you're saying the cash and bank balances and let's say we go to the year um, 2008 2008 dominoes had 2.1 crores in cash in the bank you remember this is in millions so it's 21 millions 10 million is a crore so two so 21 million is 2.1 crores so the so if on march 31st if, if after the end of this financial year if dominoes had 3. Point, sorry 2.1 crores left okay that means for the if end of a financial year if dominoes had 2.1 crores left that means for the next financial year the previous year's ending balance is going to be the starting balance for the next year right so the starting balance is 2.1 crores in cash and we're going to write that down 2.1 uh, crores in cash the ending cash balance is going to be where will we do? this is your ending cash balance as of March 2009 that is 3 crores right 3 crores is the ending cash balance 3 crores now we, we got these two numbers from the balance sheet what a cash flow statement is essentially whatever happens between these two numbers that's a cash flow statement so let, think about this for a company like Domino's or even think of a small company like that you know your, your own private pizza business where all what can happen to cash like how did this two crores become three crores how did you suddenly get 0.9 crores or 90 lakhs what all could have happened right in between all this you know just because money went from 2.1 crores to three crores that doesn't mean your business just got cash inside cash also went outside but net net your your balance went up by 90 lakhs so look at Domino's balance sheet here and try to come up with ideas you know what are the possible reasons cash was being used in this business used as an either inflow of cash inflow of cash or outflow of cash why was cash being used think of the various reasons uh, what is the first obvious reason you could you, could, you can think of um, where cash was used right you remember uh, the whole uh, uh, income statement you see here the, the different places cash is being used cash is being used to make the pizza the dough, the cheese the olive oil the vegetables and all that stuff so you know your so your cash is being used in <coughs> um, cash is being used for the ingredients of the pizza let's make this small in what is the spelling of ingredients? I think that, yeah, okay, that, oh, no, wait, sort of, sorry. I think that is the right spelling. I'm sorry if the spelling is wrong, but I'm pretty sure I suddenly have a problem with the spelling right here. But I'm pretty sure that's the right spelling, okay? Uh, the ingredients, um, uh, the, the ingredients is uh, that. Oh, yeah, so we don't actually, you know what, we don't have a either. That's ingredients, okay? All right, I need to get better at my spellings, okay? Um, so the you spend money on ingredients to make the pizza what else are you spending uh, spending money on uh, right here uh, look at this you're spending money on rent marketing salaries and all of those things you're spending you're spending money on rent salaries marketing and all of that right so this uh, if you had two crores you're using money for this buying ingredients you're using some money for the rent you're using some money for the salaries you're also using some money for the marketing it's not lesser than marketing it's marketing okay then where else are you using money is that it now it's true that that's all the income statement has but uh, is that all where the money is used in the company just think about it Apart from the income statement, we also learned of something called the balance sheet, right? Apart from the operating activities of a company, the company has other things. The company, uh, you're only thinking, uh, if, if you said uh, the company has, uh, has to buy equipment, the company has to buy ovens, the company has to buy furniture, the company has to buy interior decorations and, uh, you know, name boards and things like that. The income statement doesn't have any of those things, right? what has all of these things the balance sheet so 
we have all those expenses, right? We have to buy equipment. We have to buy uh, furniture for the for the store. We have to make up the interiors. You see how none of these are here. So those are things you need the money for. Now that's that's a good point. Let us highlight each of these uh, in a different color. So it's kind of uh, intuitive to us. Um, uh, blue and pink. All right. Okay, and then is that it? Is that all a company uh, uses its money for? Is that the entire inflow and outflow of money? You have, you have money for your operating purposes. You have some money for buying your equipment. There is one more aspect, right? If you if you look at the balance sheet, you'll probably remember there is also an aspect where a company gets money not only through its operations, but a company gets money through loans. People lend the company money. That doesn't. That is not in your income statement. That's only in your balance sheet. So, loans. A company gets money through loans. And then what happens? Because of that, a company has to pay interest. You remember this whole thing here? Uh, oh well. Okay. The interest expense is in the income statement, obviously. Uh, this whole income, the, the interest expense. So interest is is you know it doesn't. It has nothing to do with making the pizza, running the pizza and all that, but it's got to do with servicing this loan you took. Let's give this another color here. Uh, let us do this. All right. Okay. So uh, there are all these different categories of, you know, expenses or inflows and outflows of cash for a company. Uh, and they're very popularly, and, and you see they form very distinct, clear buckets. This is operating activities otherwise called cash flow from operating activities yeah cash flow from operating activities all the stuff that is involved with making the pizza and selling the pizza then you look at this this is all to do with the company is investing money in the future of the company by buying furniture and ovens and all those stuff. So this is nothing but cash flow from investing activities, right? The company is all this stuff are you know useful for the company going down the next year, two years, three years from now. So the company has a bunch of cash flows from investing activities. And finally, you see here. This is called cash flow from uh, financing activities. All right. So essentially, taking a loan is issuing shares, issuing dividends. Um, uh, you know, th things like that, which don't have anything to do with the operations of the company, nor do they have anything to do with the investing in a company, but. Uh, basically funding the company so that's why it's called financing the company so essentially a cash flow statement this is we essentially build the structure to a cash flow statement right here all right essentially what we have done is we have said the starting cash balance from there if you take into account all the money used in the operating activities and all the money used in the investing activities and all the money used in the financing activities finally you have your ending cash balance that is how a cash flow statement is built. In our next session, we are actually going to really take numbers and populate these things in here and actually build a cash flow statement. But this gives you an idea why a cash flow statement is used and how what the basic structure of a cash flow statement is. Uh, I ho hopefully that is uh, clear to you by now. Thank you very much for uh, taking time to listen. I will uh, see you soon at the next session. And like I said, I'll find a new way to welcome you. Okay, thank you. Bye.